Hey, what's going on you guys? It is Saturday morning. I think it's like 9 o'clock. Super early for me. I woke up about 6.30 this morning, but I went to bed at like 5.15. So I've only gotten a little over an hour of sleep. Um, I've been kind of struggling. I, I know I haven't made a video. I didn't do a weigh-in and um, measurement video last week. Um, I just have like been getting like the shittiest sleep of all time. I don't really know exactly what it is. I talked to Aria, who's an admin in my group, and she knows a lot about hormones and you know, stresses on the body and she's just so like well-rounded and educated on like, you know, health and nutrition and stuff. And so um, I've been talking to her a little bit and she said that I basically need to not be in a deficit right now. Need to pretty much just be eating and try to get my sleep. And I've been fluctuating like 174, 175 like at the end of the day and in the morning like 172 or whatever like that. So pretty much the same thing. I was 169 and this morning I weighed 169.6. So I'm pretty much staying at maintenance right now, not really losing any weight. And I haven't worked out this week at all. I've just been trying to relax because I don't know why I just cannot sleep at night. I haven't been drinking coffee late. Um, I still co-sleep with my daughter. That could be a definite reason why I'm not sleeping that well. But anyways, so I'm going to do a full day of eating today. I already made my coffee. It is cold brew out of Kenya, which is a Starbucks blend. It's a medium roast coffee. So I did the cold brew with my toddy and it turned out really, really good. It's pretty strong. I just did three ounces of cold brew and I filled it up with water till I think it was about 11 ounces. And then I just heated it up in the microwave and threw uh, three tablespoons of heavy cream and some liquid sucralose. And that's what I'm drinking right now. Gotta put it in the microwave because it's already getting cold. It's really cold in my house because it's so hot outside. Like Ryan has to keep it super, super chilly inside. And I'm talking low because it's early in the morning and I'm not used to being up this early. <laughs> and Ryan's sleeping and Aurora's sleeping and the boys are at their mom's. So it's kind of just a chill morning. I turned on some YouTube and I was like just watching these people's binging stories. And not that I've binged because I haven't, but um, I just like to watch all kinds of random shit on YouTube. So I'm gonna drink my coffee and chill out for a little bit. And if I have another coffee when my cousin comes, because I told her that we would do coffee, but I woke up way freaking early with no sleep. So I'll probably have another one, but I'll show you guys if I do. Hey Cash. Hey, what's up you guys? So after my first coffee, I totally passed out because you know I said I only had, what, an hour and 15 minutes of sleep or something. So I fell asleep for another hour and my cousin just came over and we're just having iced coffee. You saw me just make it, it's two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and the Starbucks cold brew. It's super good and Cash just wants to hold my cup. Hi, Hi cutie. Hi, baby. You want to be in my video too? What's up, baby? I want a baby. You want a baby? Okay, get up here and sit down. Alright you guys, I'm gonna just chill with my cousin for now, so I'll check with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, Ryan just called, he's out, so he wanted me to start some taco meat, so I'm gonna have, be having some of this in a little while, it's gonna take about two hours to cook. So I just put it on, I put about, about, let me think, two pounds of ground 80-20 meat, and about a cup and a half, two cups of water. I got that meat cooking and it's 2.11 and I'm pretty hungry so I did make some beef jerky the other day so I'm going to put a piece, this is my last piece I have, oh my god it turned out so good. So I do have it in my fitness pal already so I'm going to put it in my fitness pal according to this. I think it's 40 something grams for a serving so I'm just going to um, divide it. So that's what I'm going to have for my snack right now.
Hey guys, I forgot to tell you the time. It is 4.42. And I haven't been on the camera much today because I've been so freaking tired. I passed out um, after my cousin left. Even though I've had coffee today, I went and laid down in my bedroom and I like, passed out for an hour and I was cooking the meat already. And so I finished cooking up the meat and made my salad. But I made my salad really huge because I really want this meal to count. And I um, decided not to put cheese on it because I got the avocado and then the beef and the sour cream. I didn't want to overload it too much with, with fat just in case I wanted something later because I, you know, you know, I always like having some chocolate at night. Not every night. But this is what I have left of my salad right now because it's so filling. Um, I'm going to finish it, but I'm going to take a little break right now. I have, I tried out that, I don't know if you guys have seen on the internet, but they have a thing where you can put a couple probiotic capsules mixed in with coconut cream or coconut milk. And uh, I have it right here and it's been in there since the night before last. So I've already tried this, but I just want to um, show you guys. I'm going to let it go until the end of the night and then I'll just put um, a cap on it and put it in the fridge but it's been unrefrigerated in my oven and this is it right here it is tangy already and they say the longer you leave it out the tangier it gets so um, I don't want to put my finger in it or anything just because I know that there's bacteria working in there and I don't want to screw it up it's really good it still tastes a little bit coconutty but it's tangy so it's gonna be really great with maybe some berries and maybe some like toasted coconut flakes on it so I'll let you guys know how that is and probably post it on my Instagram and if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram I'll go ahead Ahead and leave my username down below. I want to introduce you guys to the new member of our family. This is Elliot and he's a bearded dragon. Ryan's mom found him at somebody's house in their backyard. Looks like he was probably either a runaway or he um, you know got out of his cage but he's so freaking adorable he's super super friendly so far we just fed him a buttload of crickets how adorable is he hi Elliot say hi to the world Elliot look I still flinch a little bit just because I don't know I'm not used to having a bearded dragon but how adorable is he He's got a sweet setup. You're so cute. People are probably like, um, he, him cute? No. Anyway, so we have his worm bowl, but um, the worms we've been giving him are too small. His water bowl is not in there because we took it out when we fed him a bunch of crickets and they were all up in the case. But we're going to get a big branch that goes like right here. And then we're going to get his um, basking light and put it there. That one's a night light, um, a night warming light, so it's always on. Just because it has to have a cool side and then a warm side. And this is his food dish that we keep like melon or some sort of other vegetables that he eats in there but yeah really excited to have him he's so adorable he smiles at you and it's so cute huh baby huh baby boy i think my mom's calling me oh melissa's calling me all right well my cousin's calling me so i will check in with you guys in a little bit after i eat my salad maybe a little bit later when i decide to maybe have some dessert or something Hey, what's going on you guys? I have totally been catching up on some much needed sleep. Thank goodness, I kinda just put like everything like at the house today on hold. I just took another nap right now, so I think I'm finally catching up on some sleep. Just checking on my little dragon dude right now. What's up, Elliot? I've never had a reptile before, so this is new. Okay, so I threw that yogurt, that coconut yogurt that I made in the refrigerator. So it's been about 24 hours since I made it. It was sitting out for 24 hours getting all probiotic-y and tangy. And it tastes pretty good, so I threw it in the refrigerator. I'm going to let it chill down, and that's probably what I'm going to have for my final meal of the day. It's going to be kind of dessert, but kind of healthy. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to have, but I'll probably be having that and maybe a square of dark chocolate.
I have to admit, I am pretty excited about trying this. Mommy! Mmm. I want them more too. Definitely gonna be making that again. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Sister, you wanna try? No. Mmm. Look at that. If it was frozen, like, not frozen, but if it was a little thicker, I just really don't want to wait. It's already almost 10 o'clock, and I'm going to go to bed again so I can get kind of, I don't know, regular sleeping pattern, hopefully. But with the toasted coconut and the chocolate, oh, my goodness. You guys have to try it. Really, the, um, the only thing you have to do for the coconut yogurt is have patience because two days. Mm. All right, guys, that's going to do for my full day of eating. I will go ahead and list the end of the day macros right after this. If you like this full day of eating videos, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. What, babe? Anyways, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.